Jackie and I'm here with the gentleman of Rome on, I don't even know what day it is anymore, a Van's Warp Tour. It's New York. It's Saturday. That's about all we got so far. <laughs> it, it's the Saturday. How are you dealing with the weather today? Much different than previous days. Better. Much better. This is like England weather. Yeah. Close to England as you're going to get for, for the Americas. We've got a sweatshirt on. So we can hear the seagulls so we feel at home. Yeah. Well, welcome. I mean, it's as good. And the sea's not very Fish and chips for lunch. Shit. It's amazing. <laughs> so uh, your debut LP, Backbone, uh, came out uh, in January. Um, how has your band's, uh, the sound of your band, lyrically, musically, changed over the years since uh, 2012? Uh, I'd say, like, we've, we've kind of stepped up in terms of production. We've kind of added some different ideas in terms of, like, making the song sound bigger, I think, is, is mainly our aim. Um, like, they used to just be kind of, like, all fast and all shouty and kind of that thing. We've kind of toned it down a little bit in places and, and made it more kind of listenable and, and, and having a lot of variation in the music as well is what we try to do now. How, is, how were songs born on that record? Did it start with a riff, a lyric, a beat, something in between? It was different every time, honestly. Like, some of it started with lyrics, some of it started with, like, someone would come to band and be like, I've got this idea, let's, let's work with it kind of thing. Some of it would just be, like, a, a, an acoustic guitar and we'd just, like, write a song and then change it. Um, so it was all kind of different. What are some messages you hope fans take away from the lyrics of your songs? Um, I think we try and not be too, like, uh, negative. negative, yeah. We are negative at all. It's mainly positive lyrics. Yeah, like... You don't seem like a very negative person, so... <laughs> we, yeah, we don't have, like, we don't have that bad lives, really, so we try not to be like, oh, it's, it's so bad and all... Yeah, they're all right. Our lives are all right. So, like, we try and not be, you know, dwell on everything, I guess, and be positive. The kids that oh, are, I'm sorry. The kids that are listening to us kind of thing, they're young and they're impressionable and you don't want to get them into a negative mood and all that kind of stuff. Well, like you said, we're just we're happy to be where we are. So it's sort of like writing music about what we're doing and where we are where we're at at the moment. There's nothing really um, nothing unhappy to sing about. So how do you guys go about choosing your set for Warp Tour? You've got 30 minutes. You've got to you've got to make it quick. You got to make it concise, but you've got to make it last. Well, basically, we were gonna play our acoustic song for it, and then we played we played a festival back home called Slam Dunk, which is quite a big festival. Before we before we came over here, and we decided and we decided not to do the acoustic song there, and it just flowed so much better. So we were like, let's just not do it for a warp. So we just did all our electric songs and not. Not faffing around. Faffing is a word that we say in England. It means messing about. Fat faffing about with an acoustic guitar. So um, the main, like, we sort of just chose all the... the, the so, yeah, the singles from the across all of our EPs. Yeah. And then the and, fun songs. Well. And, yeah, the, the, a couple of songs that we just like playing that are just yeah. fun. So, yeah. Slam Dunk is a huge festival. How uh, does it compare to Warp? Obviously, that's a one-day festival. This is not a one-day festival. But how are you know are fan reactions the same or different, or is your preparation? I would say it's, it's, like it's, it's got a similar feel to it. I mean, it's different for us because the UK is where we're from, so we get a different crowd over there, definitely. But like as the festival's set up, it does feel like does does feel like Slam Dunk, but. Yeah just two months of it rather than three days so yeah. it's sort of yeah, yeah slam dunk goes really quick and then yeah. oh, this is going quick it is this going is still down. feels it's like one of the first quick. days but it's been three it's fun. weeks or something now so apparently well that's good then if it's going quick that's a good thing if it's it's going to be a sad thing when we get to the end of it but then there's always next year hopefully yeah hopefully if they let us come back <laughs> So how do you reach out to fans, either um, after or before your set or online through social media? We, uh, we walk along the line in the morning with a big sign saying what time we're on stage. Uh, we pick out their T-shirts, say whatever's, whatever they're wearing. Is. Yeah, regardless of what they have on their T-shirt, we tell them that's what we sound like. <laughs> so whatever, that's really smart. Yeah. Big bands, and just say, oh, you like... Um, we like Slipknot. Well, we, we sound like Slipknot. Come see us. We're on stage at eight. And then... There's we probably some upset Slipknot fans. You, you, you like Florence and the Machine? We sound like her too. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's it, yeah. We also tell people that there's like an, a, like an announcement from oh, yeah. NASA yes, at our stage at 5.55 or whatever. So, if you yeah, want to know if aliens exist, then come to our set. Um, yeah. And then we also say if, if you want to see the Queen do a rap battle, you're yeah, going to have that. And Harry Potter comes and as well. And serve scones and, and tea. Basically, we just lie to everyone. 
It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. To everyone, so they come and watch our set. Yeah. And then, you know, no expectations. Mandatory safety, mandatory safety meeting is another one as well. Yeah. 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 Safety meeting is a good one. So what's up next for you guys after Warp Tour? Uh, we've got like a few festivals in Europe. We have Reading and Leeds in the UK, which we're really excited for. Um, we have a headliner in the UK, which we haven't announced yet. And we also have another tour, which is not announced yet, in another country. Which All right. Well, check out these festival experts getting really getting around. This is Rome. Thanks to Jackie in the Key of Change and Chorus.fm. Thanks, guys.